Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today we are going to discuss the SDRs or special drawing rights. Okay. So first of all, uh, let me tell you that we have started the RBI Grade B 2019 crash course that includes the video classes, notes, test series and the RBI Grade B GK Daja subscription. Please take the demo on Bank Exams Today's mobile app or go to learn.bankexamstudy.com. All the links are available in the description and this is a mobile number uh, also available on WhatsApp. <coughs> So what is SDR? So SDR uh, created first of all SDR was created by IMF in 1969. So countries, uh, let's take an example of India. They keep the reserves. They keep they keep the reserves in form of gold and US dollars, right? So that's how the countries they keep the reserves reserves, right? So SDR. It is an international reserve asset besides the gold and the US dollar. Now the countries, they can keep their reserves in form of SDRs. So SDR is, uh, as I told you, it was created by IMF. It is a bucket of, uh, it is a bucket of five currencies. That's what we are going to discuss in the next slides, right? It is a bucket of five currencies. Uh, the purpose of uh, that SDR is to supplement other reserves, supplement the gold and the US dollar reserves with the SDR. Uh, so there are two, right now there are 189 members of IMF, right? So IMF created the SDR and divided these SDRs among 189 members according to their quota, according, according to their IMF's member quotas. That's what we are going to discuss other day maybe uh, how that quota is uh, decided and determined so under its article of agreement article of article of agreement of imf imf may allocate the sdrs to the member countries who are participants of the sdr department in the proportion to their imf quotas so according to their imf quotas the sdrs were divided among the member uh, countries so there are total right now 189 member countries of imf so the currency basket of imf uh, the currency basket of imf's sdr uh, there are total five currencies us dollars that's how the sdr is made up uh, so the weights are given there is us dollar euro chinese yuan japanese yen and pound sterling so Chinese Yuan was added in 2015. In 2015, Chinese Yuan was added. So these are the five currencies uh, which are which consists of the basket of SDR. So 41.73% is the US dollar, and these are the weights given to the other currencies, right? <clears throat> so SDR uh, is neither a currency, it is not a proper currency. First of all, SDR is not a proper currency, and there is no claim on IMF. There is no claim on IMF, but if you have some SDRs, you can make claims on these currencies. You can make claims on US dollar, Euro, Chinese Yuan, Japanese Yen or Pound Sterling. So it is a potential claim on freely usable currencies of IMF members. So what are the freely usable currencies? These are the freely usable currencies, uh, freely usable currencies as the name suggests, freely usable currencies. These currencies are commonly used in the international trade right so these are known as freely usable currencies <clears throat> after every five years uh, the imf just go through uh, you know these currencies uh, or they just evaluate the other currencies whether there is any need to add up another currency or remove the any currency from the existing uh, you know five currencies <clears throat> So uh, this this bucket of currencies are reviewed after every five years. <clears throat> now, uh, suppose uh, there is a country, let's say India. There is a country India now, there is a country Germany, right? So the IMF, they allocated, this is the allocation, right? So this is the allocation. So IMF allocated sdrs to india <clears throat> so that that's what uh, that's allocated but india they needed money so they needed money to pay for their debts or to you know uh to 
to pay for their trade deficit right so they sold these sdrs so let's say this much sdrs were allocated to germany so that much is allocated to germany so india india needed the sd uh, india needed the currency india needed the us dollar so india sold this much sdrs to germany now germany it has this much sdrs more right now india needs to pay interest on these sdrs and the germany will get interest on these sdrs the extra one from the uh, i mean let's say if the allocated is let's say 100 and they have 110 they will get interest on 10 so let's say if india had uh, 100 and now they are having that 90 sdrs they need to pay interest on 10 sdrs right the net sdrs so how much they pay they pay according to the SDR interest rate, SDRI, which is determined on a weekly basis, right? The SDRI, SDR is determined on the weekly basis, while the value of SDR is determined daily. So how the interest rate is determined on the SDR? So uh, interest rate on SDR is determined on weekly basis. And it is weighted average of representative interest rates on short term government debt instruments. Okay. So it is weighted average of interest rates on short term government debt instruments, right? So let's say if uh, there is China, I mean, there is US dollars, I mean, there are 90 days or there are money market instruments, even in India, there is money market instruments. So government's short term uh government short term debt instrument whatever the interest rate is prevailing so sdr interest rate is the weighted average of the short term government debt instruments right the interest rate on short term government debt instruments whatever is prevailing in in these five uh, current uh, these five countries whatever interest rate is prevailing uh, they just the weights are already given they just multiply so let's say it is like let's say 2.2 something they just multiplied by weights and that's how the interest rate is calculated. The today's interest rate, today's SDRI is 1.127%. So the basic facts, the SDR value is calculated daily and it's, uh, you know, currency code is XDR. Okay, as India's currency code is INR and US currency code is, US dollar's currency code is USD. Uh, SDR's currency code is XDR and SDR's interest rate is determined on the weekly basis and the SDR's value is calculated on a daily basis, right? So I think that's all for today. If there is any doubt in your mind, there is a comment section where you can post your comments. So that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye.